All right, we've got Mike Peterson here. If you have a question for him, raise your hand, I'll call on you. Spencer Nussbaum, we'll start with you, go ahead. Hey coach. Hey Spencer. Um, so after a, a loss or a game like that, um, what strides do you still need to see from your team defensively? And could you talk about what you saw from a uh, place songs today? Yeah, so the strides we made, need to make defensively after tonight are all of them. Uh, I, I just thought, I thought we got very undisciplined defensively. Uh, I mean, they just, uh, and again, it was a hard, it was what, what we talked about before the game, right? And this is a completely different team than we faced. And they got us all spread out. Uh, and we didn't do a very good job when they got us all spread out, right? We got penetrated and pitched into some threes and we got penetrated for some layups and we didn't stay connected very well defensively at all. Um, uh, and so, you know, as they got small and got us spread out, we struggled. We ended up having to go with that really small lineup, which I didn't particularly like, but we couldn't guard them at all with our bigger lineup. I mean, we scored 93. You got to be able to win a game with 93. Um, and I thought Plaisance was phenomenal, right? She played great. I mean, she's a, she's a premium shooter, and she shot the ball great tonight. You know, early they got us in some pick and pop stuff, and then we got that straightened out. But then the, the two threes she made early in the second half were just complete defensive breakdowns. I mean, all they did was pop her, and we just didn't come get her. So we got to do a better job there, no question. Emmanuel Blaze, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Um, you got big games out of um, Odyssey and Tiana tonight. Um, yeah. How do you feel about what, where they're coming? It looks like they're getting a little bit more confidence in their games. I know yeah. it was a thought, but from what you've seen from them today and what we've seen like the last two or three games, what are your thoughts on their play and how they're um, – seem like they come along throughout the season? Absolutely. I mean, both of them are playing much better now than they were especially a month ago, right? And um, – you know, Odyssey has had back-to-back -back very good games, right? And Tiana as well. So uh, just really happy with both of them. And they're both good players, you know. Uh, Odyssey was just struggling to kind of find where she could score. And now I think she's, uh, she's getting that better. And she's also passing the ball great, right? She had seven assists tonight. So uh, just really happy with her. And then Tiana's finding her spots better. You know what I mean? Again, this is a you know, this is a whole new group. Odyssey's never played with Tiana. Tiana's never played with, you know what I mean, all, all, all of our players. And so uh, they're starting to come together. And we said, you know, this is a team that's going to take a while to develop. And now we've been without Ken for six games. And before that, we were out without Cheyenne for six games. So they're good. They're working hard. And, and but it's very encouraging uh, what Odyssey's done the last couple of games and what T's done the last couple of games. They're both really good players. So that's encouraging. Brennan Sudge, go ahead. Hey, uh, Coach, I uh, know that you spoke about uh, Kennedy in the pregame, but mm -hmm. how would you evaluate the play of your guards in order to lead the team in her absence? And then when Kennedy is able to return, what do you feel like the biggest thing that she will bring back to you guys that you guys haven't had um, over these last few games? Well, I think our guards have played great. I, I mean – you know, it's, you know, I court struggled to shoot it a little bit tonight, but most of the shots she got were pretty good shots, but you know, the last game against Washington Odyssey court and Tiff all played great. Right. Tonight Odyssey played really well and Tiff played. Okay. She got kind of dinged up. She was limping a little bit and, and I probably played her more than I should have there in the second half. Uh, but she's such a good player and she fights so hard. So, uh, but Kennedy's different than Odyssey. Odyssey's different than Kennedy. You know, uh, Ken gives us a little more uh, downhill, get to the front of the rim maybe than Odyssey. Odyssey's better, that little pull-up, mid-range kind of a deal. And so they're a little different, but they complement each other and they complement our other players really well. So, uh, you, you know, the, the silver lining, I guess, of Ken being out is that uh, Odyssey's really stepped up. And, you know, that'll just give us another really good piece when we're putting the pieces of the puzzle, puzzle together when she gets back. Jamila Johnson, go ahead. Hey, Coach, this is a non-game related question, but okay. you guys, um, but ESPN announced earlier today that you guys, um, the team has been nominated for yeah. the sports humanitarian team. 
of the year award. Uh, what yeah. was it like hearing that news and what has the, the mood been like with the team upon hearing that? Yeah, it's a really big deal. Like it's the biggest deal ever. Uh, and so I, I think the team was uh, very proud, right? Uh, and uh, very flattered, I think both those words. Um, and, and again, uh, I, I think it's a, uh, an appropriate recognition of what our organization, specifically our players, uh, and with the support of our staff, but our players did the heavy lifting, obviously, uh, what, what they did last year in the bubble. Uh, the bubble was hard. Okay, everyone was away from families. It was a beautiful place, but you were locked in. You know what I mean? Uh, and then on top of that, our team did all that they did. And again, I've said this before, I'll say it again. You, you can't underestimate the impact that our organization, our players had um, to some extent, and we can argue about this, but to some extent, they impacted the balance of power in the United States Senate. A pretty big deal. And, and uh, they did it with uh, tremendous integrity. They did it with uh, a tremendous focus. Uh, they did it with uh, just a huge commitment to do what was right. And so, uh, you know, just, I, I think just proud and flattered and all of the positive emotions you can imagine. Last couple of questions here. Uh, first, we'll go to Spencer Nussbaum. Go ahead, Spencer. Uh, yeah, hard to follow up that question, but um, I, I have a basketball-related one. Just basketball, uh, Spencer? Come on, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let, let's let's uh, solve some world issues here tonight, man. Yeah, that'll be next press conference. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Uh, so before you were talking about being forced to go small, uh, yeah. was that more of an offensive or a defensive adjustment? Defense. And is that why... Uh, Cheyenne didn't get a ton of time down the stretch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was much more a defensive thing, um, it, you know. And and again, we give up ninety six, so it wasn't very good coaching. It's pretty easy, right? But we, we just we were, we were having no uh, no ability to get matched up, no ability to get them stopped, uh, and so we went smaller. And that smaller group played pretty well together, and then. You know, we lost them there in that stretch, middle of the fourth quarter, maybe toward the end of the fourth quarter. Yeah. Again, we, we scored 93. 93 should be enough to win a game in this league. We just didn't do a good enough job of defending, and they did a great job. You know, they did a great job of uh, using what they had, and I didn't do a good enough job of helping our players combat that, obviously. And last question, back to Emmanuel Blaze. Go ahead. Coach, when you have it with the season like it is and in, in, in the back-to-back -back games like you're having mm -hmm. um, during the season, does that make it, because it's kind of a playoff where you have to watch film of the last game and things, is it making it harder or is it, is it making it easier? What are your thoughts on these back-to-back -back games where you play a team? A, yeah, a yeah, I, yeah I, I don't know that it's harder. I, I get what you're saying. I, I don't know that it's harder or easier. And, and this back-to-back -back was really different because, uh, let's be honest, that's not the team we played, right. you know, uh, four days ago or whatever it was. You know, you take out a dominant post player and you bring Weiss in there, right? And all of a sudden they've got five guards on the floor. And, and you know, the, the biggest thing with our – we just couldn't get matched up in transition. So, um, yeah, I, I – I don't know that it's a positive or a negative. You just deal with what you deal with, right? And this one was different because the team was so different. All right, thanks so much, Coach. Yeah, thanks everybody. All right, we've got Odyssey Sims here. Do you have a question for her? Please raise your hand, I'll call on you. Now you look good. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Emmanuel Glaze, go ahead. Hey, Odyssey, uh, tough game today what were your thoughts on it between you know first of all congratulations on 22 and 7 you put up the great numbers but overall for the team well what was the difference in the second half in your opinion um, I just think we got a little stagnant um, we didn't move the ball as well as we did to start the game um, we were missing the extra pass um, the ball stayed on one side of the floor so um, that gave them opportunity to catch up go on runs um, 
And we just got to do a better job of just continuing to move the ball, like stay with what what's uh, working. And I think we kind of got away from that after the first quarter. Brandon Such, go ahead. Hey, Odyssey. Um, I wanted to ask you about kind of uh, the uh, guards as a whole and Kennedy's absence. Um, how do you feel like you guys have performed as a unit and how much you guys looking forward to having her back? Um, like every team, when you have a great player out, um, you just adjust. I mean, um, we had some games we won, had some games we lost, but of course we're going to be happy to have her back. A um, lot, lot of scoring is uh, missing from her, but um, overall I think we've been doing a pretty good job without her, but we'll be a greater team with her. Spencer Nussbaum, go ahead. Yeah, like Emmanuel was saying before, I mean, 22 and seven, you're really hitting your stride these past couple of games. I, I know it's not the outcome that you wanted, but what's been working for you over the past few games? How have you started to hit your stride? Um, I mean, just going with the flow of the game. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, playing more, being more aggressive, just not passing up shots, just taking what was given to me. All right. Thanks so much, Joe. Thank you. All right. We've got Tiana Hawkins here. Do you have a question for her? Raise your hand. I'll call on you. And we'll start with B. Terrell. Go ahead, B. Hey, Tiana. How are you today? Hey. All right. Um, obviously, not the outcome you would have wanted from the game, but the opportunity to basically be back in a place where you spent so many years of your professional career. What was that like for you to kind of, um, I guess, have that first time back? Um, it, feel, it felt good to be home tonight. Um, it was, of course, I'm a, it was a different feeling, but, um, you know, home is always home. Um, it's always a special place in my heart. Emmanuel Glaze, go ahead. Hey, Tiana, 17 and 9 and 9, close to a double double. But these last few games, I don't know if it was because you played your old team, but or, <laughs> or, or coming off of the bench, what, what can you say has been the difference in your rhythm over these last few games? Um, I think um, with me being new to the team, um, it's just taking some time for me to get adjusted to the style of play and just, you know, finding my rhythm, you know, on the offensive end. But I, you know, I try to use that. Um, as motivation to continue to do the small things, you know, because when I do the small things and it gets myself going and it's just something that I have to build on, build on um, each game moving forward. Brandon Such, go ahead. Hey, uh, Tiana, um, I wanted to ask you, how has uh, uh, Kennedy, um, how has she continued to be an asset for you guys? Um, even as she's rehabbing from the elbow injury um, and then, when she's able to come back, how will she feel kind of like a missing uh, piece? Well, um, Kennedy, she's been good. Um, she's been doing what she needs to do um, as far as getting healthy and getting back on the court. Um, her energy has been contagious. Um, she's always rooting, you know, on the bench and just talking and um, giving good feedback. Um, you know, from the things that she see um, just from watching the game. Um, I know when she come back, I mean, we're going to be a lot more quicker. Um, I think we'll um, get back to uh, scoring more in transition and just moving the ball a little more. And Spencer Nussbaum, last question. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, like everyone else was saying, I mean, great performance tonight, even uh, in the loss. In, in terms of what you've seen defensively from the team, what, what strides do you think you guys still need to make? Um, I think the biggest thing is um, we just got to be disciplined. Um, there's a few times where where we, you know, cheated to play, overplayed to play, or miscommunicated, um, and, you know, Washington made us pay for it. Um, I think if we, you know, get together and, and stay on one accord on a defensive end, then we'll, you know, get back to being a good or, you know, decent defensive team. All right. Thanks so much, Tiana. All right, thank you. Have a good one.